That's right, Graham. We do have some fashion coming up now. It's from exotic leathers to fine silks. I mean, that is the benchmark of any luxury design. It is not just as much as how it makes you feel, but how it makes you look. Now, on the trail of inspiring local talent, our fashion director, Alexis Chaffe May, met up with Kat van Dainen to discuss contemporary design in South Africa. Most designers know very early on that they are destined to be in fashion. With an, with an eye for luxury and a passion for design, Kat Van Dainen is one such designer that turned her desire for beautiful clothes into a lifelong vocation. Polish-born designer Kat Van Dainen has seamlessly combined her European sense of simplified sophistication with an exotic African style which defines luxury. Kat, who inspired you to enter the world of fashion? I think it was more the circumstances than a person, even though my grandmother and mother always made things themselves as well. As a child of the post-communist Poland, we didn't have a various choices of shopping experiences at all. Once I was growing up, the, the whole string of second-hand shops appeared as aid from America. Visiting the shops wasn't acceptable, it was perceived as dirty. What I was doing was buying clothing per kilos and altering them. Um, changing the buttons and drawing them to my high school where I sold them and that's, that's how it all started. And how would you describe your style now? I think it's still very minimalistic. I keep with what I know. I find making simple things well is a lot more appealing to me than attempting making complex designs and not being able to sustain the quality. And I think just keeping it basic really works. What motivated your decision to create a luxury product for South Africa? I think firstly it wasn't, it wasn't there. I arrived to South Africa in 2006. One couldn't buy a t-shirt that was well made. I was shipping and doing my shopping list still in Europe and I made an attempt to bring it here and also use the resources that are local, all the raw materials that are used by luxury brands in America, in, in Europe, are coming from Africa. I think it really makes sense to bring it back where it all started. So tell me about the latest collection. You know, what was the look and the mood that you designed towards for the season? My Africa obsession, I guess, and um, visiting the Safari Lodge with family, I really struggled packing my suitcase as, as the, the setting is, is luxurious, yet again, you, you're visiting the bush. So I think showing that the effortless um, style that is still elegant can translate very well into a holiday wardrobe that is not flashy, that it's not screaming, that it's, it's functional, elegant and comfortable. I don't think that many people think that silk blouse could make it into African bush. Your leather accessories and your luggage range are just superb. What goes into creating a top-notch product of their caliber? It's a lot of determination and passion. The journey wasn't easy at the beginning and um, the research, sourcing, finding the artisans that are specialized and have years of experience wasn't easy, but I, I feel we're finally making to the point where we've arrived there, so it's my team. There are a lot of stereotypes out there about what African fashion should look like. What's your take on contemporary design on the continent? I struggle with, um, with the fact that we mix the 52 countries into, into one pot, just because they are so diverse in the cultures, in the origins, in the heritage, in the design as well. Even looking at the textile, you can pretty quickly estimate where they're coming from. The Central Africa has very different feel than North or South Africa. So um, I think we know very little about it. It's just because of that shortcut, I really hope to be a part of the, of the change, not only in the making, but also in perception of what African fashion is. Everything we make is made in South Africa by South Africans, and the, 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 the materials are sourced locally as much as possible, whatever we can get here. So let's hope we are part of the change. Pioneering a challenging market, Kat Van Dainen has the vision and commitment to succeed in putting Africa on the map.